New, 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 new products time. Okay. Okay. First up. First up, we have an updated product. So it's updated enough. I put it in the new product video. Um, we've had these battery packs for a while. They're great for powering your single board lens <clears throat> computers. You can recharge them. They provide a good two amp output, which is needed for Raspberry Pi computers and such. Um, and uh, you can charge them up. And this one has been updated to now be 5,000 milliamp hours instead of 4,000. Also has this handy button on the side that when you press it, It'll uh, light up the four LEDs to tell you the battery life. So, do you want me to go to the four. overhead for that? Yeah, I can just show it off real fast. But um, yeah, so it's got this thing. You can see it's now three quarters of the way charge. You charge it over micro USB. You have USB two amp out. And I think if you hold the button down, this turns into a flashlight. Yeah, you can. I don't right. Know. Not so useful, but uh, it's really great for powering. Um, Linux computers are not great for microcontrollers because if you have a low enough draw, it'll automatically turn off. So much better for high draw devices. Okay. What's next? Next up, we all have another updated product, but again, it's fairly updated-ish enough that I wanted to point it out. Um, this 1.5 inch TFT display is a, this is not a composite image. That's actually a photo wow. of what the TFT looks like, which yeah. is pretty good for a low cost TFT display. Um, showing Adabot, and I'll have that demo running. And I've got it just running on a Metro. Over. Yeah. Let me see. I think it goes this way around. Uh, so we've updated this to be, uh, it's still 1.54 inch. It's still 240 by 240 IPS display. So it looks great, and it has great angle visibility as well. Um, we added a TE pin, so a lot of people wanted the Terra Enable output. Um, there is now a pin you can access for the TE output. Uh, it's the same chipset and size as before. Um, however, the, the screen, we did have to move the holes a little bit um, to make room for this slightly different size screen. So the physical shape has changed, uh, but the code is identical. So you can use this wherever you'd like with your ST7789, works with our GFX library and in CircuitPython as well. Okay. Next up, we have Ada boxes in stock. Uh, we just, uh, a few months ago, shipped our Ada Box uh, 12, which was Pygamer, um, which is an all-in-one gaming platform you can use with MakeCode Arcade. You can also write code in Arduino. We have an NES emulator that we ported, you can see here. Um, it also can, runs all our machine learning demos. Yes. Runs our machine learning <laughs> demo. Well, we wanted to make sure like it, there's a game device that can do, because like that's a natural interface for so many people. So. Yeah. People know he's like, oh, a joystick and two buttons. Yeah, they know, they, they know what they it know means. right away what to do with it. Um, and so this uh, this Ada box was chock full of goodies that would let you take advantage of this cool gaming platform that we designed. Um, includes a, a, a grid of gridded paper notebook that um, is wire bound and some markers. You can uh, draw out your sprites at, um, for all the pixel art you're going to do. Uh, a case, a storage kit, button, uh, battery, and speaker, so you can put together your Pi Gamer. And um, we have always some left over after the initial run, um, and so we have some in stock if you would like to pick up an AdaBox uh, because you really liked it or because you didn't get to have one. Um, but once we sell through the AdaBoxes, we don't make any more. So pick one up if you would like to get the full kit. We have um, another slide pot. Uh, people like slide pots, and here's another one. This one is short, it's only 45 millimeters long. Um, it's got a rubber nub on it, sorry, a plastic nub on it, which I really like. A lot of uh, potentiometers don't come with a knob. They have just like the bare slider, which is kind of like, not painful to use, but it's uncomfortable. Um, but this one has a nice um, plastic bit that you can grab. And um, one thing that isn't clear from the video, but I can show on the overhead, is it has this little, um, notch here and that just gives you a slight center indent so oh, when you nice. when you hit the center this it's just a little bit of um, metal just gets uh, I like the volume knobs where indented. it's in the middle it, yeah. it snaps to the middle I can like so this yeah. is good for if you want to know where the center is and that's kind of nice I mean you can of course gauge from looking at it yeah. where the center is but it does give you um, I, it, I do like it it's I like that you chose that one because there's a bunch that don't do that and it costs nothing extra to do that it does cost nothing <laughs> extra to do <laughs> it's actually do. the absence of cost it's, it's empty it's, yeah it's, but yeah, it doesn't make notch. it hard to like you can move it smoothly you just you just can feel it yeah. very lightly there's that's a little cool. bit of a bump. It's a linear 10K, so that's very handy. Um, you know, you can kind of like shove it into a breadboard if you want to use it with a breadboard. Um, it's not 
breadboard friendly, but it does work in one if you really want to. Um, of course, you'd want like a two breadboards side to side, so you could have it that way. Or perf board works best, of course. Um, but it's simple, effective, and yeah, it's got all the niceties. It's got the middle indent, and it's got this nice rubber uh, plastic knob. I see. I keep saying rubber because it looks rubber, but it's plastic. Okay. Slidey, what, are, slidey. What, what is this? I saw this go into the store. Yeah, so this is actually a, it's a two-parter, and we're going to also have a kit um, yeah. for everything soon. Yeah. Do you want to show both? Um, or how do you want to so, do So, yeah, let's just go to the, the next one. So okay. it's a add-on for the Raspberry Pi computer, the Raspberry Pi 3, and it's a rack RAK wireless LoRa concentrator hat. So basically, we have a LoRa bonnet that works very well with a Raspberry Pi that lets you do one channel of LoRa communication. LoRa is a, a multi-kilometer range wireless radio protocol that doesn't have Wi-Fi. It's not like Wi-Fi or cellular. You don't have to pay to use it, um, but it's not super high bandwidth, and it's kind of very bare bones. You just sort of send packets back and forth. But the good news is it's great for sensor nodes. If you have a, like you know, a couple dozen or even a hundred um, small, low-cost, low-power wireless sensor nodes, LoRa is a great protocol to use because unless, uh, unlike cellular, you don't have to pay a, um, uh, a monthly fee, and unlike, unlike Wi-Fi, it goes many kilometers. So I'll show the, the hat on the overhead since it's quite a thing. So um, this is the hat, and you see it's actually a module. This is the wireless module soldered onto this adapter, and it also includes a GPS uh, from uBlock, so it's kind of nice. A lot of um, lower radio gateways, if you have GPS, it'll, it'll show it up on a map and also tell you when it's active, so it's kind of cool. And then uBlock's there's... up-and-comer. Like, they've been, they've been doing a lot of stuff lately. I've, lot been of seeing stuff. Their, I've been seeing their stuff everywhere. Stuff everywhere. Yeah. And then, you know, you plug this onto a um, Raspberry Pi. It, right now, it works with the Raspberry Pi 3. I think they're probably working on Pi 4 support, but since that just came out, it's kind of new. And then you have two antennas, Laura. And you get with this, it actually comes with antennas and adapter, so you have a LoRa and GPS to connect that up, and it's an eight-channel transceiver. So unlike the low-cost one channel, this can connect to any channel of LoRa. So this is great if you're making a router because you can um, connect to hundreds of nodes, any, and use channel hopping so that they don't interfere with each other. You can connect on any channel. You don't have to do anything special customization, and then it works with the Things Network. So we have a Things Network router, but if you want to build one on a Raspberry Pi for some reason, there's a lot of reasons why you might want to have more control over your setup, or you just have a Raspberry Pi. Uh, we have the case, and we have the add-on kit. You probably want both because then you know you get a Raspberry Pi, plug this on, and then you want to put this in the case. Um, the case is quite good looking and very durable. And again, it only fits the Pi 3s and Pi 2s, and it has all the holes and slots that you might need for attaching antennas and such, which is, which is quite nice. And then it comes with the top and bottom, which I've removed to make it easy to see the case. So two products, but they go together like peanut butter and jelly. Okay. <laughs> then uh, we got another screen. Yes, one more screen. So many screens. So this is a new screen. So if you like that 1.54 inch screen and you're like, but what if I wanted a smaller one? This is a 1.3 inch 240 by 240 display, also IPS. It's so tiny. And um, I love the screen. You know what's funny? There, you can get these screens online from like eBay and stuff, but um, they actually are like set up wrong on most breakouts. Um, whereas we've kind of done breakouts a lot, so we know how to set it up. So not only is it level shifted, but you get, um, oops, am I off by one? Oh, no, I have the SD card missing. That's why it's, it's like, where's the SD card? Hold on, I gotta make sure I don't pull the SD card out and have it fly over. So when there's no SD card, you get you get static. Well, it's like it's like TV static, but yeah. not, it's not TV static. Well, hopefully, hopefully this works. No, there's a whole generation of people that'll never see TV static. No, they yeah. have fake static. You know, they, yeah. they, they it's like a loop. Okay, so if you have the screen on, so yeah, it's playing the same um, beautiful images that we had on this 1.54 inch display, but now it's a teeny cute little display. Yeah, sure. So it's so small, very high resolution. Um, but it uh, looks great. This is used in smartwatches a lot. And again, it's set up nicely and correctly so you can use proper SPI. And then um, we didn't have enough space for the TE pin here. But again, if you are one of those people who's like, I want TE pin, uh, it's broken out there. And then we have SD card slots on this and this, so you can easily access your data. 
and um, you have a nice connector and level shifting so you can use this with three volt or five volt logic however you wish so same chip same resolution different sizes big sister little sister hi we're okay. friends and the star of the show tonight besides our community pete and more is gizmo that's right gizmo it's our it, first gizmo yeah you wanted what a name this for be? <laughs> what are what do we call things that plug into circuit playgrounds gizmos so we got the yeah. <laughs> we don't know why it came up with this name but we did so um this is a solderless add-on for the Circuit Playground Express. You can even use it with the Bluetooth one coming out. And it's got these pre-soldered standoffs that are M3 compatible. So you just need some M3 screws you can find at any hardware store. And um, you can bolt it on. You can even uh, screw through, like the, the threads go all the way through. So if you wanted to keep this going up and then maybe connect something else to it, you could do that too. Uh, but here I have an example of, you know, let's say you want to connect your barometric pressure or humidity sensor. Or maybe you want to connect one of these little OLEDs or TFT displays. Whatever you like. You have a little prototyping area. Let me grab one that is on a sentence so I can show the bottom. So the bottom has your standard preferred design. And oh, these are little protectors. When you pick and place them, they come with these protectors that you then have to just peel off. They just come right off. I know it's just like a round perma proto, but this is my favorite new product. <laughs> Yeah, I use a lot. this is cute. I'm just like I don't. It's I just, cute. I just yeah, it's got the silk screen. It's got the red and blue. So this is a three volt line and the, yeah. the ground line, and then it's got the um, the breadboard, uh, you know, ish design yeah. here. And then there's a couple like freestanding holes. I figured if you had a weird connector or something. It's a round breadboard for like circuit playgrounds. And then that's, yeah, you got the a right all the pins are broken out, and then it tells you how to connect it. And then um, yeah, you just use screws. So in this case, it's just I squared C. So I was lazy. I only put in four screws. But it's solid. I mean, it's a mechanical as well as electrical connection, but it's solid. So if you wanted to use this, I mean, heck, you could put an SD card slot on here and have it do SD card and data Dave logging. Dave did biscuits. He called them biscuits a long time he ago. He did. <laughs> and biscuit. This is yeah. kind of a biscuit. It's hard for me not to say biscuit, but I know. we did. We'd been mm, coming biscuit. up with this kind of thing mm, for a bit. Biscuits. Yeah, now I'm biscuits. <laughs> but we thought gizmo. I think because it was like a. It was like a little play thing. Yeah, we thought they looked like gizmos. Like, oh, look at these cute little it's gizmos. It's a gizmo you attach. Yeah. So we'll have other gizmos coming soon. But this is the first one. It's a proto gizmo. I think will be yeah. very helpful for people who want to add more circuitry. You can do a little bit of soldering, and they want it to be permanently or semi-permanently attached. So you can unscrew it and uh, recycle it for later. But nice and nice and durable. These are really cool pick-and-place um, standoffs, too. These are super neat. They just pick-and-place yeah. on reflow them and like you can't get these off these are like super permanent yeah these are like the strongest good. thing in the world <laughs> this is like the teeth destroying gizmo biscuit <laughs> okay so that's that's the new products right, and that's the new product all right you want to do a recap yep